course, to Rar we have David Mitchell and Gola back four. Of Scott Roberts and Scott Rumsby, Frank McEwen and Mark Doherty in midfield. Sean Winter, Stephen Bell, Grant Gallagher and Andy Sterling. Jimmy Longworth will play off the main striker, Martin Green. The substitutes, first and rar in their strange kit today, a kind of day glow, high vis, yellowy coloured. <laughs> they have Chris Fahey, David McKenna, Ryan Boris, David McGregor and Lloyd Kinnear. The man in the middle today, Derek, you may recognise. Yeah. He's Dallas Junior. Yeah. I think the last time I saw one of that was wrapped around the lab. They're underway at Ibrox in this Boxing Day fixture. Just short of five minutes. John Daly coming closest so far. Mr. Radlock just here to make the numbers up as the front players combine over the top for Longworth again on the half volley. Just sights are out this time. But this pairing, Derek, have goals galore between them this season. Jordan's Wallace again. McLeod's in the traps and running. Oh, wonderful play from Lee Wallace. Needs a final ball. He's going to wee drag back again. Wonderful skills from Wallace. All very tight and congested in this McLeod. Looking for Clark and Daly. It might yet fall in there and scooped over his own crossbar. 18 goals for the season, 11 of which have come in the League One business, so he's lively. Here's Sterling. Tracked by Peralta. Oh, he's going beyond them. Decent delivery, too. I just think there's a rustiness about Rangers. You know, it's, it's all right, you know, feeling fit and everything else, but the sharpness is going, the match sharpness. That's the important thing when you haven't played. Well, Daly chases. And the goalkeeper. Daly's actually stopped. Yeah. Lee Wallace through traffic. And spotted by referee Dallas. Well, There's a good early delivery. Needs a good touch from Clark. Oh, wonder save from Mitchell. Denies Lewis McLeod. Sweeping move from Rangers. Wallace Clark, the providers. Well, it was a cracking ball and good play. Good touches as well from Rangers. McLeod did well, but the goalkeeper was out in his six yard box there. What a colour looking for Daly. The second ball is crucial. Nicky Clark moves back to goal. He's got the invention. So penalties being awarded. Well, there isn't even a claim from Rangers for that one. There isn't even a claim, but Nicky Clark, so determined in hitting the target, just shrugged off the challenge. Clearly, he's been tugged from the backs as the referee. Mm. Was Wasn't an awful lot in. I mean, nobody at all was looking for a penalty kick for that bit. The referee was only five yards away and decided it's a penalty kick. Well, the skipper steps forward. He's got 11 goals for the season. It's McCulloch versus Mitchell. Seven minutes to turn around. Wonderful finish from Lee McCulloch. The deadlock broken at Ibrox. So, you know, one nothing from Rara still in this game. You know, and that's it. I mean, if they lose a second, then they'll, then they'll, they'll panic. But as long as we're going to win nothing, I'm sure their manager will be delighted with the performance of the team. Maybe not with the score, but with the performance, he'll be absolutely delighted. I mean, right for him, he had that fantastic shot in the first half. And basically, that's all we've seen of him. The fine switch of play introduces Sterling. There's Stephen Bell who picked him out. And Sterling's fleet of foot as well. He's going beyond black, he's going beyond law. Oh my goodness, my goodness, that's within an inch of the equaliser. And Cammy Bell scrambling all across his line. Clever footwork from Andrew Sterling, and he's more than capable from that range. That deserved a goal. What a fantastic run that he's come across. You know, deep four men. To be fair, Cammy Bell's there, but it's on target. He may well have got that, but that's terrific play by the winger there and a fantastic shot. I mean, Rangers again, plenty of men back, but nobody challenging. And again, he's another player who's got a bit of vision about him. Well, he's somebody who can play either wing, you know, and he does when the ball is on the opposite side from where he is. He always comes into the box looking to try and get a shot on target or on the end of a pass. Winter again overcooks the delivery, although Longworth gives chase. Cuts along the figure, but does well to fizz it back to Mark Doherty. Here, jockeys. Infield for Bell. Keep ball for St. at the moment. Rangers just need to win it back. Rangers defending too deep. If they push that 10, 15 yards up, then Stranraer are not going to find the space. Exactly what Stranraer have done to Rangers in the first half. The passing's crisp and accurate. He's back with Andrew Stirling again, who came close moments ago. And he's enjoying a lot of possession just now. It's the incision that counts, though. Oh, he just tries to lose the attentions there of the backtracking belly. Might have an angle now. Nicola! The fans are not happy with some of the things that are going on. There's just no fizz about the team at all. Fraser here offers a bit of resistance. 
Sterling pops in back post. And the goalkeeper has to look alert and does well. To just pop it over the crossbar because it's that ball in the corridor of uncertainty, Derek. No one attacks it from a Stan Rapp perspective. And Cammy Bell has to just knock it behind. Well, really, the architect of their set plays. Whips it in again. On again. It's a free header, you have to say, in there by Stephen Bell. Immediately cross into the box. And it's on target, it's not that far away. One of the questions are asked how was he able to get a sight of the target from that delivery from Sterling? The Rangers defence looking just a wee bit static and flat footed. Well, it's poor again. You know, that, that's a, just a simple ball in the box and it's a header nobody near him once again. No joy at all at the moment. Sterling is going beyond him. He's got a change of pace as well. Skips inside, away from Black, away from Law as well. Gallica fancies it from distance. We're going nowhere, but all of a sudden. He tails it up, it's McKenna with a snapshot. And that's a fine save from Cammy Bell. They've left in tough full stop time. I, I don't think they've played well at all. There wasn't really a, a spell where they're on top for ten minutes and created three or four great chances. The keeper had one save in the first half, and of course we've got the penalty kick. And, and that was really all the excitement. They've, they've created a couple of half chances in the second half. Strindrar have would be delighted with their performance, not with the result, obviously, but they're coming at Rangers and they're, they're, they're becoming the, the stronger side as this game's gone on. Here's Doherty in the 90th minute, tracked by Law. Sterling, who's threatened and been a bit of a thorn in the side all day for Rangers. Doherty with the reverse pass. It's Robertson, of all people, way up there, the right back in a very advanced left hand side of the field. Well, well. And Sebastian Ford just puts the laces through it. Oh, there's a chance here for Daly if he can play it early. Is there a 90th minute second? Here's Templeton. Has he got sight of the target, Dink? As well, I, I think he, he got so far. He's looking to try and give something to the game. And I feel they're still in this game, but I think time may be running out because we're into the second minute stoppage time now. Rangers just keeping the ball down at the corner flag. McKenna gets it away. Longworth. And it does well to get the break of the ball off Moss. The Rangers put pressure on it as Boris works it back to Mitchell. Rangers taking no chances, three men at the back without a strong half player there. Well, a wonderful take from Templeton, but again, just too heavy. And Rumsby, who's been outstanding for me today, with the heart of strong half defence, gets it away. And here's the subby Kinnaird for Sterling. He gets it across the face of goal. Longworth, equaliser. Disaster from Rangers. Absolute disaster. Sterling, the provider. And Longworth on hand, his 19th goal of the season. Three minutes beyond the 90, it's Rangers 1, Stranraer 1. And I'll tell you what, you can see it coming, Tom, we've been saying it for the last 25 minutes. Even with a few minutes to go, you said you couldn't guarantee Rangers winning this game. And they've thrown men forward, again, poor defending, but from Stranraer's point of view, it's terrific play. Once again, the ball played over. Longy has got the ball, he's standing, there's nobody within five yards of him and just side foots the ball into the goal. And it's no more than they deserve, you have to say that. I think the second half have been absolutely terrific, Stranraer. Well, history is made and history that was pending has been broken. Longworth's conversion is Stranraer's first ever goal against Rangers and Rangers who were in target to go 21 wins in a row find themselves stopped in their tracks with 93 minutes on the clock. I'll refer you to David Templeton's effort when he went for the dink finish. We've played 93 minutes here. Rangers leave the field disappointed on this boxing day. The skipper Lee McCullough got Rangers nose in front from the penalty spot in 37 minutes. Thereafter, Rangers bossed the show. Disappointment for Nicky Law when his drilled effort came back off the underside of the crossbar. Rangers could not build on that first half goal and they paid the ultimate penalty. 93 minutes on the clock, Sterling found space on the right hand side. He popped in a terrific delivery into the mix inside that six yard box. Longworth timed his run to perfection. No one picked up the movement of the former Queen's Park man and he tapped the ball home from six yards. Rangers have to settle for a share of the spoils. Their first draw in the League One campaign this season here at Ibrox. It's finished Rangers 1, Stranraer 1.